Hello, this time I'm going to record uh, how to scaling an object or a group of objects to a specific size in Design CS4 or CS5. It seems like uh, simple enough, but uh, it can be very annoying and uh, complicated if you don't know how to do it. For example, if I select the, this graphic uh, and uh, go to Control Panel, change the size to 115mm, and I press Enter, you will see that it's not scaling, it resized it. It's very important to keep the difference between these two in your mind. Resizing would actually change the frame which you put your image in and crumble the image. On the opposite, scaling will change both of frame size and the picture size. So let's undo it by hit Ctrl Z or Command Z in Mac. Instead of using weight and height window, which actually changes the resizing amount, I'm going to change the scale value in control panel and it currently shows 100%. So, I want to make my picture into 150mm in weight. But how can I figure out uh, what percentage I should type in here in order to make that? Well, the good news is you don't have to do any math at all. All you need to do is just type 150mm. Of course, in design is smart enough, it will automatically figure out percentage for you. Press enter and we can see it actually scale whole thing down. <coughs> Same, we also can scale a group of objects. Let me undo that and select all elements with Ctrl A or Command A in Mac. And I'm gonna scale all of these down as a group of objects. We don't have to group them because we already selected all of them. Come up to scale value and uh, type 115mm, hit enter, and it scaled everything in that page. <laughs> Typing absolutely value into the scaling window on the control panel is not obvious. Most of beginners uh, haven't realized they can do that, but uh, it is very powerful when you have to scaling something. Keep that in mind and you can work professional in no time. Oh, there is one thing maybe you also wanted to know. If you want to know the true percentage, just need to double click the picture and uh, once you get the drag selection tool, <laughs> click again and uh, you can see the image be scaled down to blah blah.